Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 10.2 Beta 1. This is for developers and probably public beta testers, but it's not out just yet, at least at the time of this recording. The download was pretty large, it came in around 2 gigabytes, and that's to be expected with these fairly major updates as far as 0.1.2 updates. It's pretty decent. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see the build is 14C5062E, and that build is uh, pretty decent as far as this goes. So what we've got here is some new wallpapers, some new emoji, and I'm going to show you those in just a moment. But I first wanted to show you a quick setting, since we're in these settings, for the home button. Now, when we're in settings, we need to go to accessibility for the new one, though. So we go to accessibility, and then under accessibility, if we scroll down, you'll see home button. So we go to home button and then there's new options for press and hold to speak. So now we have Siri voice control and off. I'm not sure how many people are using voice control, but that's left over from iOS back in the day before there was Siri. So you can switch it to that if you use that and you just push it down and you get Siri. It's pretty simple. Now, one of the things I don't have is actually a little icon here for the Beats Solo headphones. The new ones, which are actually right here, and I'll be reviewing them later. These Beats Solo 3, uh, they're, they're pretty nice, but there's supposed to be a new icon here. They're connected. I've disconnected, connected them, played music. It didn't make a difference. It just doesn't show up here. But let's take a look at a couple things within messaging. So if we go to messages, we have some new emoji. And this is to comply with the new Unicode 9 standard. And these are not all of them. That one right there is not new. The rest of them are all new. And they're coming in iOS 10.2. And you'll see there's a bunch of different ones. There's some nice ones. The drooling face, a boxing gloves, bacon, a shopping cart, a wilted rose. So we've got all these new ones. We've also got one new message effect. So if I say hi, we'll push here, go to screen, go all the way over, and now we have celebration. So if I send this, it uses haptic feedback and it feels like there's fireworks going off. So it's really nice, it, it works well. Let me do it one more time and see if there's any volume. I haven't tried it like that. I don't believe there is, but let's try one more time. Yeah, and there's no sound whatsoever, but it feels like there's firework, fireworks going off in your hand. It's pretty neat. It's a, a neat sensation. They have another feature in settings to preserve settings for your camera. So say you're in camera, you're here, you want to switch it to video, want to switch to photo, and the next time you go into the camera, you want to leave it on video. And if you notice, normally it defaults back to photo, but I have it on video. That's a new setting under preserve. So let's go into settings. And we'll scroll down to, let's find photos and camera. And then we scroll down here to preserve settings. And under preserve settings, you can see we have a couple different things, camera mode, photo filter, and live photo. So you don't have to reselect those every time you use it. It's really nice. We also have a new video widget that's right here. So this widget should supposedly show video, videos and movies and TV shows, but it's not showing anything right now. And of course we have some other little options throughout. One of those is music. We can sort playlists now. So if we go to playlists, we can sort them a little bit differently. So we have play playlist type, title, recently added. And that's pretty nice as well. And we can turn on star ratings under music. So if we go back under music, we now have show star ratings. So if you've rated your music in the past or you have star ratings, it'll show them there as well. So that's a lot of little things here and there. There is one more thing to mention before I show you those wallpapers, and that is the emergency contact. So if you've got your emergency contacts filled out as far as your ID page or your medical ID, your emergency contact will be contacted if you use that new SOS feature. So if you have an Apple Watch or an iPhone and you use SOS to help call someone and it dials 911 and helps you out that way, it will also notify your emergency contact that you dialed SOS or sent an SOS. So that's a nice little feature as well. You also have those new wallpapers. So let's take a look at those. We'll go to wallpaper go to choose a new wallpaper and there's only three of them. It takes a second on mine because I've got so many photos, but 
here's the three brand new wallpapers. So we've got blue, yellowish orange, and more of a pinkish red. So those are brand new as well. And I have them in my background right here. So it looks pretty good. If I go to my home screen, you'll see it looks nice. Uh, it's decent. It, I could use a little bit more color or something else. Hopefully they'll add some more of these in the future. But I think for a point two update, that's pretty good, considering the point one update was only the portrait mode, basically, and camera and some bug fixes. Now you can assume there's going to be bug fixes in here as well. Uh, for me, the update earlier today supposedly was going to fix just a health issue, and that was on iOS 10.1.1. But as far as a health data issue it fixed, but really, I had some major issues with connectivity to these headphones, so they just didn't work right. Uh, I'd open the music app and they'd crash. I know some people have said they don't have that issue, other ha others have, so I have that issue and hopefully that's fixed. I haven't tried it out yet. So those are all the updates I could find online, find in the notes and everything else that came to iOS 10.2 beta 1. Since it's beta 1, you can probably expect a beta 2 within a week or two. And who knows how many of those there'll be, but based on beta 1 or iOS 10.1 beta 1, there'll probably be up, up to at least four of them, maybe five. It, it depends how finished it is. But let me know if you've found anything else in iOS 10.2. And if you've tried it, let us know what you think of it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.